Hey guys, it is Thursday the 28th of January. Today my name's Jess McDonnell and you are watching GameSpot News. EA have said they're on a journey to regain the trust of the PC gamer, starting with Origin Access. While senior marketing director Peter O'Reilly neglected to mention precisely where the company suspects they fell short, possibilities may include the messy online-only SimCity and The Sims 4 lacking a number of fan-favorite features at launch. O'Reilly explained that EA are now doing their best to turn this around. He told MCV, Over the last couple of years, we have focused on ensuring a great play experience from launch and bringing players a better experience on Origin, with programs like the Great Game Guarantee on the house and now Origin Access. EA plans to add more non-EA games to the Origin Access library in the future. There are currently 15 games on the subscription service and only This War of Mine is from a third-party publisher. Comparatively, on Xbox One, EA Access features no non-EA games, presumably because that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense with the name. Bungie has had some personnel shuffling today as Pete Parsons is now set to take over as CEO from Harold Ryan. Bungie revealed the news on their website where they said the board of directors appointed Parsons, who's been the company's COO since 2002. Parsons seemed pretty excited about the whole CEO deal and as far as destiny goes, he explained, I want you to know that my number one priority and Bungie's is and always has been to deliver great games that we can all share together. I believe that Destiny is a one-of-a-kind experience. I also believe you have yet to see our studio's best work. My new role here at the studio will be entirely focused on fulfilling that promise. It's currently unclear as to why Ryan stepped down or whether he will remain with the company. I really hope you aren't getting sick of hearing about expansions for the games that aren't out yet because The Division is getting three of them. As is the state of the games industry, Ubisoft has announced their post-launch plans for the shooter pre-launch. The three paid expansions will include Underground, where you can check out the underworld of New York City, Survival, where you'll have to stay alive as long as possible while fending off a number of attackers, and Last Stand, which is presently not detailed. These expansions will be releasing periodically over the course of the year, while Ubisoft are also planning a series of free updates for the game. If you buy the DLC, you'll also get some new weapons, outfits, skins and monthly benefits, including exclusive content drops and special events. Further details, pricing information and specific release dates haven't been divulged at this stage. Let me know down in that comment section how you feel about The Division's DLC plans and head to GameSpot. We've got stories on Dying Light's DLC and Insomniac's new game. That is everything I have for you today, but do be sure to pop by same time tomorrow where I'll have the top five stories of the entire week. I will catch you then.